Hey, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Praveen Balan, and today we are going to speak about the new features that is released by Microsoft Intune Labs. So basically, Windows Labs is something which we all aware that this was used in a traditional domain managed devices to manage the local admin account on every single machine connected to the domain but it wasn't available until March in Intune managed devices wherein it is not a traditionally domain joint machine so basically with cloud managed devices we join a device to an Azure Active Directory, not to a traditional Active Directory, right? In such scenario, there were no built-in capability available from Microsoft that was supported uh, to manage or rotate the password of a local admin. But now we can confidently say that Microsoft has released labs for Intune managed devices. And again, today in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how can you configure an Intune labs with an Azure AD joint devices. So to configure Microsoft or Windows Labs on an Intune managed devices there are certain prerequisites you need to ensure that the devices that you plan to onboard to Intune managed labs feature should a minimum requirement as Windows 10 20 H2 or Windows 11 21 H2 with April 2023 security updates installed on it as a minimum requirement so anything after Windows 10 20 H2 April 11 update will be supported so now we need to enable the Azure Active Directory settings under device settings. We need to enable the labs feature. This is a tenant level setup. You, you might need additional privilege if you're just an, just an Intune admin, you will not be able to enable it. So you probably need to contact your global administrator to enable the settings. So once it is updated, the next thing is to configure the policy within the Intune admin center. Go to endpoint security and navigate over to the account protection area and then click on create new policy, which is Azure AD Labs, Windows Labs and then necessary. Just enter necessary information and the basics the configuration settings are the key ones so we need to be very careful on each settings that we make here right this is a this is backup directory use the settings to configure which directory the local admin account password should be backed up to right so i'm going to go with azure active directory only if you are planning to manage the policy for a traditional domain joint machine you can use so you can use backup to active directory only but for in, uh, for for this case i'm going to choose azure active directory and then the next one is like how long you want to maintain a password age, age right by default it is 30 uh, it's up to you right 30 is a decent number you don't want to rotate the client or the device local admin password very frequently right unless it is retrieved so that that settings comes next as we move forward so what is the which administrator account that you want to manage using this policy we need to create a managed account in every single endpoint that we plan that we plan to onboard to labs i'm going to use uh, labs admin um, just to just to make it very simple right so i'm going to create this account in couple of endpoints that i plan to onboard to labs policy so once you create the account again like we are planning to manage an account which has an admin account admin access right so you have to ensure that this account is part of the administrators group of every single machine right and the same has to be repeated in every single machine if you have a handful of machine you can do it manually otherwise it's better to create through a group policy or or through an intune profile configuration and then it's the pa password complexity. I don't want to spend a lot of time there. And then the password length, right? By default, it is 14. If you want a much complex password, you can set that as well. And then, then it com comes to the post authentication action, right? So once we authenticate with the password that we retrieved, what do you want to do it, right? So basically upon the expiry grace period, <laughs> reset the password that's what i'm going to configure so it's up to you how do you want to configure you can go in detail what the settings is for basically what it does is like once we retrieve the password and authenticate into that that endpoint device using the labs password 
do you want to reset the password right that's the question all about so i'm going to enable reset and then what is the delay right when it needs to be reset so that's the post authentication reset delay i'm going to configure it configure it for eight hours that's all what we want that we want to do it and then we can assign this to a group that we created and then then finish the profile creation wizard the policy creation wizard and then initiate a sync if you want to get the result um, fairly faster but otherwise you can wait for the sync to happen and then go back to the the event logs under applications and service logs expand windows and then go to labs oh sorry expand microsoft and go to windows and under which you will have something you will have something called labs in it and all the operational events will become available here in my experience it took around an hour for me so wait for a for some time don't don't expect that this will happen in a matter of seconds right so you'll have to wait for some time until it it onboards the account manage this manage it through labs and rotate the password so wait for about an hour or so you can also see if the policy is already applied to individual endpoints by opening this policy and if you click on the device what policies are updated and all these things will be displayed very clearly there and the same information will also be available on the endpoints under the event logs once it completes the process we can go back to the event logs of the pc and see how it is displayed now we can see that the endpoint is displaying many events everything looks to be very good all informational there's no error so which means it's it gets all the policy whatever we set and also it, it created the password rotated the password based on the new policy that we created and, and backed it up to the Azure Active Directory as we set in the policy so everything looks good so now we can go back to the Azure Active Directory portal and see from where we can retrieve this password for an operational usage so now navigate to the devices section up under the intune admin center and, and search for the the device that we are managing the admin account for and then under the monitor section you have something called local admin password now and again if you can also retrieve the password from the azure Act active directory portal and then click on devices and search for the device for which you need to retrieve the password and then you have similar settings called local administrator password recovery which is in preview again i'm telling you again not move this into production until it becomes generally available so you can you can go back to the uh, the intune portal and click on show password or just copy it if you don't want to see it you just want to copy and paste it you can do the copy button and if you want to retrieve and see the password you can do that let's test the password in one of the machines i'm going to run a, a nexe with a different user with labs admin account just to ensure that the account password works right so it looks the same right so i just copied and pasted it looks all good and say okay and it, it completes the authentication process the password is working so everything looks okay you can also reset a force reset of the password from the portal you can go back to the the device properties and from the three dots button you click on it and then initiate the reset of labs password a managed of the managed account and then go back to the the device again to see if that manual force reset of an account password is working or not it is fairly quicker you don't need to wait for an hour or so you will immediately see the changes in the device if it's connected if it is not connected it will it will have this command sent once the device makes the connection to the intune tenant right so you can see that it has reset the password again if you go back and try to retrieve again it will show a different password now another important thing about password management is the auditing right so how do we know that if got like 10 15 admins or more admins on a larger enterprise you need to know who retrieved the password so we can go to the audit logs and search for the device that you really want to know who retrieved the password search with that filter 
apply the filter and it will clearly show who ret retrieved the password at what time this way you can also audit who actually retrieved the password and then in case if there is any malpractice that happened with that account we can figure it out through the auditing logs so this is a good feature as well so my suggestion uh, it, it carries all the basic requirement for a lab solution evaluate it and ensure that all your check tick box for what your organization needs covers in this feature if not please provide the comments if this video did help you in some way please do not forget to subscribe the channel and i'll be more than happy to receive comments from you thank you for watching and we will see you again with another video until then this is praveen balan signing off bye